Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a tour of my backlogged LEGO collection. I haven't made one of these videos in a really long time, but I know everybody really likes to see them. So I thought I would give you a little update of what's new here. So for those of you who may be new to the channel, my backlog is basically just all the LEGO sets I have in my collection that are sealed and have yet to have been built. The backlog right now is significantly smaller than it was a year ago at this time or even a year and a half ago because I've got way less unbuilt sets than I did. However, as you can see, I still do have two full bookcases here. So in this video, I'm just going to go through and give you a little bit more oversight and show you some of the unbuilt sets I have. Starting off over here, let's just get right into it. It's you know hard to film these videos because I'm not taking every set off the shelf. This box here has actually got the Batman's Batcave uh, from the Lego Batman movie. It is built, but it's extremely dusty. This one's from the Lego store. Uh, it was one of their displays, so I've never done anything with it. I've never opened it up and even did an inventory. Here, I've got one of the newer Chinese New Year sets that you would have seen if, that I did a video on a few months ago, or like it was in a haul, the story of Nyon. I've got the bouquet of flowers up here. This big thing from Black Friday, 1,500 Lego pieces that I've got to do something with. I got this Lego creator set, which is actually the Lego creator pirate ship. You'll be able to see, I want to build that. And I've got this Lego city set, which is set number 60258, which is the auto shop as you can barely see in there as i said these ones are really hard to move so i'm not moving those down but those are two pretty decent sized sets right here i've got two of the minifigure frames i've actually already built one and it's on the other side of my studio um but then i've got some lego friend sets this one here is the heart lake city pool i think was a giveaway prize i got this when it was on sale at the lego store when i still worked there just because it was on sale and then a discount uh the skate shop Oh, I shouldn't move these anymore. Uh, this is another Black Friday box that I haven't done anything with. I've never opened. This Uni Kitty set, also on sale. This Lego Movie set. This is a cool Lego Movie one. This is one I actually really like. And again, I can't pull it out, but got it on sale. I've got this UFO set, you know, from the fairground line, the Lego Creator line. I have two of those. I built one, and it's literally not even assembled anymore. Um, and I've got a second one in case I want to do anything with it. This is one of the Legoland sets that, again, I actually can't wait to build. It's going to be a really good one. Um, but it's just sealed for now because I didn't have anywhere to put it when I got it. I've got the big Lego bag from the Roman Coliseum, which is really, really cool. I'm glad I have that. Down here on the second shelf, as you can see, there's way more uh, smaller sets than up on the top, the big ones. These are multiple layers. I've got things like brick heads, the Black Friday promotion uh, i don't know if i should build this i really want to but we'll see a uh, bunch of sets back here some lego city lego creator harry potter um this one i think is the bean there donut that yep that's from the target exclusive we've got a minecraft set that i showed you last week and then a brickhead uh the harry potter brickheads uh here i've got a trophy this diving thing a lego city police car I've got this Lego movie set, the small one, both the Year of the Ox and the Year of the Pig. The other ones I've got built. Um, what's back here? Cool, just a regular Lego classic set. Um, this Legoland set from the Legoland uh, here in Toronto. This super cool two-in-one. I believe I have one of the two already elsewhere. Yeah, the mail plane. I've already got that built, but that's a two-in-one set. That's really, really awesome. I love those. We've got the hidden side, one of the hidden side sets. This one is the Metro Subway. Um, and then this Lego Movie 2 set, again, got that on sale. Great deal. Um, these are pretty decent sized sets, some of them for sure. I uh, got this Harry Potter one because I want that and I wanted to get to the minimum to get the brick head. Uh, we've got this Lego Movie 2 set, which I don't know if I'll ever build. It's pretty young looking. Um, but we've got some cool Lego Creator robots the lego picture frame which i have some plans for that but i just have to find a picture for it uh this lego city set the lego city tractor and then the lego city monster truck which will go perfect with this lego city monster truck but those are like 25 dollars sets right here all just kind of stacked on top of each other 
I'll move this, these two, because I already showed you these. It would be not fair to show them again. I just showed these in a recent haul video, the Lego Mindstorms gift with purchase and the Lego Summer gift with purchase, the 12 in one. I've also got these really cool sets from my Secret Santa, which I, I have to build. I just haven't had a chance yet. The Lego Star Wars and then the Lego Technic, which I'm especially excited about the Technic because I do have more Technic sets that I you know, want to get into, like I've already said. Here, it's going to be really hard to see because this is so many LEGO City sets. Um, but as you can see, I'll just try and do my best to move them. I've got this one, the plane, the, the space starter pack, police starter pack, a LEGO friend set. This is a pretty old one now, but this is LEGO agents, LEGO ultra agents, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then this Lego city one as well with the beehive, which is a cool one. Uh, then I've got even more city sets back here. These are all multi-layered, of course. Uh, but I've got this race car thingamajig, the mail carrier, and the Lego city stun plane, which is the stun plane is actually really cool. I'm not sure why I haven't built that one yet. Um, but I really, really like it. So I'll put these back here. My goal, of course, is to build everything at some point, but just some are way less priorities than others. In this bin here, as you can see, I've got a ton of poly bags. Like I've even got a keychain stuck out, but this is just, you can see there's poly bags, minifigures, old series, erasers, these super old poly bags, Nixels, Star Wars. Uh, these are basically the poly bags that are just kind of there. Ones I'm probably not necessarily going to build. There's a lot of Star Wars ones that I don't want to get rid of, but Avengers, extras, special minifigures, such a full bin. I, I don't even know how I would go about showing. I'd, I'd have to do like a whole separate video just to talk about my poly bag collection, but it's in this Lego Movie 2 box. Down here, I've got some more sets. As you can see, more brickheads. This one here is the Chinese New Year brickhead. And then I've got the bride and groom brickheads, which are really awesome. This is multi-layered as well. So I've got the Lego dot set right here, the Lego friends, another Lego dot set that's open, and then actually two creator sets. This one is the creator modular poolside house. And this one is the creator race plane. Very awesome. And then another Lego picture frame, actually. Uh, and this box is a little bit different. There are some bricks here from the Bricks in the Six convention that have yet to be sorted. Uh, I bought that at Bricks in the Six as well. Again, just yet to be sorted. Uh, I've got a bunch of keychains here that have yet to be done anything with. And then just a whole bunch of these smaller Lego sets that Lego barely even makes anymore. Um, especially Lego City. There's a few Lego Creator back there, three in ones, but these are so tiny. I have not seen like Lego would put these in a poly bag now for the most part and not make little box sets like this. Uh, but as you can see, there's several different ones right here, and I won't go into them in detail. Next to that, I've actually got a pick a brick cup with parts that I've just never opened. Um, that's from probably well over a year ago. And then I've actually got a box of Lego Batman minifigures that was probably not a good idea. I spent $150 on this, but I I don't know why I bought it, but I thought it'd be a good idea. I guess I was wrong because it's still sealed and I have no idea what I'll do with that anytime in the future. Down here are a lot of sets that I've already done some partying out with, but I wanted to keep a few in my collection, uh, like these city starter packs. These I got for $2.50 or like $1.50 or something crazy. So I got a bunch of those. All of these plants, I got like five of those when I was leaving the Lego store. I don't even think they were on sale. Um, I just wanted to stock up because I could give them as gifts and things like that. Um, we've got some wedding sets. I don't know why I still have three of them. I hope I only ever have to use one um but they're there of course got these plants and then down here i've also got some brick heads um this one's the turkey the bee and another turkey and i believe i have more on the other side and then next to that i've got some minifigures that i'm going to build i just haven't yet uh like the space pack or the the carnival pack city nexo knights which i don't care if i build uh lego batman movie more batman movie um, Lego, Lego movie, uh, some friends and some princess packs, some of these Ninjagos and some of the journals back there. Again, I, they must've been really cheap. I don't know why I bought so many of them, but these are sets that I have less intention to build and more or less that I just wanted to keep. All right. So now you've basically seen, all right. So now you've basically seen everything on this one shelf 
And I'm gonna turn it around here and show you all of these sets as well. So starting at the top here, I'm not gonna pull them down, but I've got three stuffed animals that I got for really cheap on Shop at Home, as well as a couple of reusable bags, uh, both a reusable tote bag and these reusable like sorting bags or whatever they were. I've got two hidden side sets up here. As you can see, this is the best view I can give you because as you can see, this thing is in the way. But those are the sets right there. I got them on sale at Walmart for a really good price and I'm like, why not keep them? Here I've got four copies of the Lego chess set, which one of them is open and some parts have been taken out, but the rest of them are all sealed. This is an amazing set and it's so good for pieces. Like I, if you see it, buy it. It's got like 1600 pieces and it's very, very cheap. Here I've got the Lego, uh, Lego uh, hospital. I bought this several years ago now. It was on sale on Amazon and I bought it because it looks really nice and I've just never done anything with it yet. I'll probably build it or something at some point. Over here, I've got the Lego creator, uh, the expert, the Parisian restaurant, which I don't think I'll build anytime in the near future. I have no plans to, but I couldn't pass that up when I was leaving the Lego store for sure. Under there, as you can see, I've got so many poly bags. These are kind of sort of by theme. Um, so here I've got like Harry Potter, uh, and a bunch of miscellaneous, Lego Movie, Creator, Disney, uh, moving into Friends because I do have a lot of friends. Here I've got ones that are Lego City. All Lego City, Lego City, Lego City, Lego City. And then I've got some mini builds, both from my time at the Lego store and from Legoland. Uh, and these ones are all really cool. And then, like I said, the other themes are pretty much over here on this side. Uh, and then here I've got a bunch more Lego poly bags. These ones are actually set aside because I wanted to make mini build Mondays on them before I canceled that series. But I've got like some hidden sides, more mini builds, Super Mario Bros, mini builds, and friends, all that good stuff. These are ones that I still do want to build. These are kind of like the priority builds. Oh, I forgot about this one. Good thing I found that. I, you know, Easter's coming up, so I'll leave that one out so I can build it. But I completely forgot I had that. Maybe I'll bring back Mini Build Monday for just this one day. But very, very cool. Lots of neat poly bags there. Big fan of them. Down here, I hate this shelf because I hate this brick, but I had nowhere else to put it. Um, as you can see, I've got like a Statue of Liberty here from New York City. A bunch of Christmas sets. These are all just promos that I've never built. Uh, the ice rink. This one I am really excited to build, obviously, Charles Dickens. I'll build that next Christmas. And then I've got this Valentine's Day set, which again, another Valentine's set. The day has passed by, and apparently I forgot about that, that I had that to build. I've got this Christmas set, this winter set, the Christmas train, which I don't plan on building because it's very expensive on Bricklink right now. Uh, the Avengers Tower, actually, which was the first gift of purchase I got when I worked at the Lego store. Uh, as well as this Lego City set, which again, I believe was, yep, on sale at the Lego store. And then of course, this Star Wars gift of the purchase that I have no plans on building. Underneath here on the brick, I've got a few different things. This one is just like cool poly bags that I am a pretty big fan of. Uh, obviously the Statue of Liberty, this build from Philly Brickfest, this exclusive poly bag from London, another, Billy, another Philly Brickfest build, um, things from the Lego house, extra poly bags there. Leicester Square, an exclusive Canadian minifigure, uh, a minifigure from Series 21, which probably should be over here with the rest of the minifigures, um, and like a Lego Club magazine and just a cool poly bag that I want to keep. I've got duplicates of, but I don't want to get rid of. And I thought I actually had a chef poly bag here as well. Hmm. I don't know where that would have went, but because I had a few extras from the Lego store, it might be somewhere else. I've got some other poly bags elsewhere, so I'll have to take a look for that. Uh, right next to here, I've got, oh, a bunch of minifigures. Um, these are old series, as you can see, like Series 16, Series 10. You know what? I'm going to probably make a video about this one and open this up because, who knows? It could be Mr. Gold, and that would be really cool to open up this, this figure. So I'll set that off to the side as well. But as you can see, lots of other figures here. Uh, poly bags, I mean, sorry. Figures and poly bags. These are a lot of the builds. Uh, different gift of purchases. This is like a Star Wars mini build. Um, mostly got these when I worked at the Lego store. And another poly bag there. One thing I almost forgot to mention was this, the wall hangers. I have them there. I don't know when I'll use them. 
Down here, one of the big sets I have is the Lego Haunted House, which I'm going to build soon. Uh, I just haven't had the opportunity yet, so I'll set that to the side and show you what's on these shelves. I've got this fireboat here, which is going to be perfect for another Will It Float video. Another, this is the 20-year limited edition. Uh, I made a video about that recently, actually. Um, so I should, uh, the book that came with it. So I'll definitely have to make that and edit that video soon. In here is just a bunch of random things. I've got like the London magnet, a few gift of purchases, a tree cards and a lot of exclusive minifigures and then i've got a bunch of these bagged builds as well that i got from the lego store um, in the pick -a cups like a year ago a, the target exclusive thing down there um, and overall just a lot more minifigures and little gifts like these uh, and then i got a few more 25 dollar ish sets here this one's the jurassic park which i do like that one i got it on sale this uni kitty birthday party set um the lego movie 2 this guy, which again is pretty cool. Uh, this is just a basic bricks. Which one's this one? Oh, I totally forgot I bought that one. This is the triple decker couch. I should build that one for at least for sure. And then an Ninjago set down there. And then as you can see on top of this box here or underneath, there's a bunch more of the other brick heads that I already showed you from the other side. These ones again, just duplicates of that I didn't want to part out. Uh, and then down here, this is actually a whole bunch of sets that I do have duplicates of, but I'm not ready to sell. Um, so I've got like the Lego ideas, this gift was purchased. I don't know why I'm not selling that one, but it's cool. Um, another Lego Movie 2 minifigure pack. A duplication of the fireboat, the Charles Dickens gift of purchase, uh, the teal brick. Again, I'm not sure why I'm not selling that one. I don't even remember how I got two of them. I think it must have been Christmas or something. Um, I've got the piggy bank. Oh, this was a cool one. This was sent to me as a gift. Uh, the 40 years of the Lego or the 60 years of the Lego group, which is awesome. I've got this camper, a Lego store, the helicopter the boat another tractor this police chase i believe this one is oh, another pizza truck another tractor and another monster truck and some of these i've still got built over on the other side and a lot of these ones were maybe just on sale like these ones for example i don't have enough to part out because i only have two uh, but people don't really want to buy those so i just keep them here they'll be good for gifts or something like that someday but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a really long video because there are a lot of sets and I did want to show you everything here. But thanks again so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. I love talking about my LEGO collection and going through this and finding sets that I completely forgot I had. And I can't wait to make some more videos on these. So as I said, thanks again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.